What's up guys, Graham here. If you left a comment in the comment section of the last Saturday video that I did, then you are entered into the giveaway to win one of the Merry Meek lock boxes that I'm giving away. And if you are one of the people that have used my referral code and that's the character that you entered in this contest with, then you have the chance to win five of them instead of just one. So the winners of the giveaway is... Bam! right there all five of you guys congratulations your gift will be in the mail just shortly thank you to everybody that participated in the giveaway i hope you enjoy your lock boxes and hope you pull something really nice out of them this week's giveaway is 5,000 credits of whatever you want from the rift store all you have to do is leave a comment in the comment section below with your character name and server and you will be entered into this giveaway and make sure that you hit that thumbs up button and also be subscribed because that is required so yes that means that you can choose anything you want from the rift store as long as it's 5,000 credits or less and is giftable the winner will be announced in the next saturday video good luck everyone What's up guys, Grim here. I wanted to go over what the state of PvP is in December of 2014. Now as many of you are very aware if you watch my past videos, I'm very concerned about Warrior PvP and the ranged classes and how the ranged is just so powerful right now compared to all the melee classes. And melee can dish out a decent amount of damage don't get me wrong on that, but the thing is, is that in a me in melee combat, you're just going to get bombarded by all the range classes, and you're just not going to survive very well uh, because you've got to be up there in the damage, and they're doing so much damage at range that they're just going to blow you up for the most part. So you have to really play a game of hide and seek until you find an opponent that is going to be easy for you to burst down and then take cover afterwards. The only time that that does not apply is if you're just steamrolling the other team and you're able to really just go at people and provide high DPS, which is normally not what PvP is about because PvP normally is having to pick your targets, uh, really try to burst them down, and then use really good movement in order to find ways out or line of sight. And right now, that's just not the case. It's, it's one of those things that everybody is just going to uh, the ranged area and just bombarding the other side with uh, ranged spells and then moving out a little bit if they need heals. And with heals being decently strong, it's not too hard for ranged classes to really uh, be way powerful compared to melee classes. Because a lot of the melee classes have to go into the extreme damage and they also get out of range of the healers quite often. So it's really a bad situation right now but the main thing that i think is a problem is something that a lot of other people do not think is a problem and that is the gear situation because in pvp right now most people that are just pvp in are getting most of their gear from the uh, pvp boxes that you get called marauder chests and they open them up and they hope to get a PvP item out of it. Well, basically a piece of gear. And uh, this piece of gear can be upgraded and then used in PvP to make you a little more powerful without having to get the gear through uh, PvE dungeons and stuff. The thing is, is that the PvE gear is so much better than the gear that you get out of PvP chests. Uh, because if you run an expert dungeon, you could get a two-handed sword that is going to proc twice as hard onto opponents than the PvP sword would at its max upgrade. So you could get this as just a normal drop in a dungeon, and then all of a sudden you're way more powerful than the people that are grinding their PvP sword that they got uh grinding the marks and everything in order to upgrade it to the highest level so it's really imbalanced right there but not only that but 
they allowed PvE players to get ahead of the curve much more than PvP players did because they disabled Conquest for so long. And then that allowed PvE players to grind their dungeons and all that, get way better gear than the PvP players did. And then they're going to have it much longer and be more dominant because the PvPers are just now getting into Conquest. It's really a bad thing that they did. I'm really frustrated about it. And just as a comparison, you know, I wrote down some numbers here. But basically, if you take a Marauder's Breastplate, and the Breastplate starts out at an armor of about 9,979. And the Strength is 134 on it, Endurance 223, Physical Crit 294, and it has no Dex at all on it. No attack power, none of that good stuff. All right, then you take the Frostkeeper Breastplate, which is the Tier 1 Raid Gear, which is not being bolstered down in PvP. Okay, this thing has 16,349 armor, and that's a difference of 6,370 compared to the Marauder's Breastplate. Well, the Strength difference, it, the... Frostkeeper's Breastplate has 315 strength, which is 181 difference from the Marauder's Breastplate. And then the Endurance is a little bit different with 235. Physical Crit is a little bit more, like 311. But another big difference is that the Frostkeeper's Breastplate actually has Dex on it, and it has 235 Dex, which the Marauder's Breastplate has no Dex at all. So you are getting a huge stat right there, and it's just such a big difference, and that's just one piece of gear. So the PvE player that was able to grind this Tier 1 uh, raid gear it, way before the PvPer could even dream about doing it is so ahead of the curve on the gear grind. And mind you, this is just one item. There are seven main pieces, you know, of just armor, not counting rings, not counting necklace, uh, trinket, seal, uh, and man, the weapons is just insane because, of course, the PBE dungeon weapons are so much better than the ones you get out of the PvP boxes, even if you grind all the way up to the full upgrade of the PvP item. And... It's just really got me frustrated because not only that, I mean, we have a lot of PvE players that uh, are grouping with me these days. And they'll group up with me to go do PvP. And these guys are leading me on kills uh, big time. And it just blows me away because I don't have the weapons that they have. I don't have the gear that they have. Because that's not even an option really to me because the PvE weapons are so much better and I don't even have access to it unless I do PvE. Well, these guys are, it It would be like me being able to get all of this PvP gear from the boxes and then me going in and smashing all the PvE content. You know, that's what it is. That's basically what they're doing. And it's so frustrating. Well... Naturally, I start to think about solutions. I think, okay, eventually I'm going to hit that max gear or that tier one uh, raid gear with just doing PvP. Now, that's a reality. I could hit it eventually. Way behind the other guys that got a huge head start on me and stuff like that. But eventually I'll hit it and then my skill will really come out and I'll be able to dominate everybody like I normally do. But... That's not the case because then another set of gear will come out with the next big patch or whatever that they'll do and then it'll be all over again. The PvE players will have such a huge uh, lead on the PvP players. Uh, we'll be getting smashed in PvP even though that's our, that's our playground. You know, that's where we are good at. But yet the gear is so important. A lot of people are saying that the gear isn't important, and I highly disagree. I mean, just the examples I was making earlier but about the breastplate, I mean, that's 
that's just one piece of tons of gear and just take for instance if it's only 150 strength difference which it's way more than all of that uh, you know with seven pieces of just armor that's a big difference right there and anybody that says ain't different is most likely one of the people that is grinding out pve gear and thinking it's not such a big deal because almost everybody that I see saying that the the gear gap isn't isn't really very much, they're like, well, the bolster gear is not very far behind their tier one raid gear. You know who those people are? The people running around with tier one raid gear. Those are the people making it sound like it's not such a big deal. And that's how it was, uh, you know, just not too long ago when everybody was running around with relic Myrmidon gear. They, those people that had the Relic Myrmidon gear were telling all the other people that the Relic gear didn't really matter that much. You know, they were really exaggerating. They were, they were like, man, you know, the, the Relic gear isn't that big of a difference. You're just a bad player if you can't kill me kind of thing. No, the gear is huge. It is absolutely huge. And anybody that says different is usually one of the people with the best gear and they don't want it to sound like it's their gear carrying them. So, but that's how Rift is. And it's really got me worried about the future of Rift, especially for the fun factor for me, because if I feel like I'm always behind the curve and I'm never going to get ahead, it's going to frustrate me. And, um, and I don't see it stopping with the way that they're doing it because the PVE players are always going to be ahead of me. Uh, they're always going to be able to, uh, you know, throw down some really hard hitting spells and all that on me. And I'm just not going to be able to take a hit. And, uh, whenever I hit them, it's not going to hurt them too much. I'm kind of lucky in that my, my gameplay style is more like a guerrilla warfare kind of style. Whenever I play in war fronts, I tend to not just run around DPS and everybody. I tend to go at somebody, I burst them down, I take cover because I take a lot of focus fire. If you guys have seen one of my recent videos where I showed you whole teams running at me, it's like that all the time for Grim. Uh, whenever I get into a war front, I can tab target through a bunch of players and I won't be the closest one to them, mind you. I'll tab target through them and I'll be on all of their targets for the most part. That's just how it is. So all, all of my gameplay is usually always a guerrilla warfare style. But if I go in there and, you know, I come out of my line of sight cover and I go in to burst somebody down and I'm not able to burst them down and then I got to run and take cover because everybody's going to blow me up, it's going to be really frustrating for me. And uh, my, my gameplay style should be getting me the kills. But gear is so important. It is so important. I cannot stress enough. I was very vocal that gear was very important. Even while I had Relic Myrmidon gear, uh, you, you've got to have the best gear. It, you just have to in order to have the best shot at putting everybody down. Where skill will really be put on the line is whenever you've got the best gear and your opponents have the best gear as well. Whenever you fight somebody that doesn't have as good a gear as you, they're at severe disadvantage and you're going to be able to really wreck them even if you play badly. Uh, that's no more, it, it can't be illustrated more than what's going on right now. You got uh, people going around with Inquisitor specs and they're just spamming the channeled uh, Nisser's rebukes and uh, aggressive, you know, just all the spells that you can do with uh, Inquisitor and just wrecking everybody you know and it's not really gameplay uh skill it's it's just gear and that's what's happening i, I ran into a warfront and i don't i don't have real bad gear i don't have the best gear by any means my my weapons are still uh like the abyssal uh blue gear and all that but you know i kill people I kill people very well in war fronts because of my gameplay style. But whenever somebody comes up and they've got uh, some frost keeper armor and uh, weapons or anything like that, they're hitting me with Nisser's rebukes that are ticking for 7k each pop kind of thing. And it's like, man, 
that's insane that 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 should not be the way that it is and i don't i don't see it changing unless they what i want trying to do is i want them to test it out here i mean they they've already made pvpers use pve gear and seeing how it goes i'm hoping they're going to see it as it was a very bad idea because i see it as a very bad idea and i don't think it's going to uh, i'm kind of worried that they're they're going to keep going with the direction that they're going and it's going to be really bad for pvpers and i've already seen a lot of the pvpers that uh were very well known and stuff like that already leave the game because of these changes and uh i think it's just going to get worse so I hope you guys uh, let all the developers know what you think, you know, just make sure that you're vocal whenever you go to live streams and stuff like that. Let them know that you're not happy with the changes if you aren't. Uh, but, you know, a lot of people are already doing the PVE uh, grind and now they've gotten the better gear and they're happy with the changes because they've got the PVE gear. So, I don't know. If you guys are frustrated with it, please let them know because I'm definitely frustrated with it. All right, I hope you guys like this episode and you may not agree with me, but I hope you respect my view and I, I definitely respect you guys. So I hope you enjoyed this video and as usual guys, my name is Grim and I will see you next time.